lunch is a tasty pastry. It's a low carb pop tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Friday, December 16th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. For the most part, the majority of the conversation surrounding next weekend's Arnold UK has been focused on all the moving parts that seem to be shifting around in the men's open right now. But as far as the classic physique division is concerned, it looks like everything is finally starting to fall into place for Wesley Vissers. Earlier this week, Wesley posted a collection of update photos from some of his recent check-ins, and one of the things that immediately jumps out at you is how much he's improved from the back. We haven't seen Wesley on stage since last December's appearance at the Olympia, and it looks like this extended off-season did his body a world of good, because it gave him an opportunity to bring up a few areas that needed a little bit of extra work. Even though last year's champ, Michael DeBoule, is coming back to defend his title, you have to believe that Wesley's name is right there at the top of the list as far as potential winners is concerned. Because if his conditioning is on point, he's good enough to beat anyone on any day. We've already been talking about the Arnold UK, so we might as well just jump right into this brand new update from Patrick Johnson. Because this guy looks like he's poised to make some waves in the men's open. On yesterday's show, we talked about the possibility of Vlad Shiroko pulling out of the show because he secured his Olympia qualification with his win at the Yamamoto Pro last weekend. And because he was a consensus top five finisher heading into the show, his absence would open up the door for someone like Patrick to steal some of that shine. One of the other interesting things to keep in mind about Patrick is the fact that he actually finished fourth here last year in his pro debut. And because he's basically had a full year to build on that foundation, you'd imagine that this year's look will be even better. And that could be good enough to land him a spot in the first call out once again. And if that happens, at that point, all bets are off. And that's when things will really start to get interesting. If you didn't catch yesterday's show, we featured a couple of guest posings from Breon Ansley and Brett Wilkin that definitely are worth a look if you haven't seen them yet. But as far as we're concerned, the award for the most impressive guest poser of the week goes to Stan DeLongu because he went out there and absolutely rocked the house at the NPC High Roller Royale. Right now, Stan is four weeks out from competing for the first time this season at the Legion Sports Fest. And if what we saw last weekend was the appetizer, just wait until he rolls out the main course because this one should be coming out extra spicy. Stan and his camp have been pretty open about the fact that they're expecting him to roll out his best package to date at the Legions. So if he really puts his foot on the gas over the course of the next month, this won't just be his best, it'll be his best by a long shot. And that makes him a serious threat to walk out of there with the win. Generally speaking, we don't hit a ton of amateur segments on this show, but there are exceptions to every rule. And if you're checking out these pictures of Vitaly Olgoldenekov, right now it shouldn't take long to figure out that this guy deserves to be one of those exceptions. Vitaly falls under the same category as Michael Crizzo in the sense that he's already had a huge presence on the international stage for a handful of years despite not ever having competed in the MPC or IFBB, which is the direction that he's heading now according to the most recent reports. Right now he's seven weeks out from making his NPC debut and if you compare his pictures to some of the recent winners from the North Americas and the USA's, you can make a solid argument for him being head and shoulders above everyone else in that group. Over the last few years we've seen guys from the international scene like Hadi Shupin, Hosan Mustafa and Mo Foda be able to come in and make a huge impact from day one. So if he really is as good as advertised, then it's only a matter of time before he makes the jump to the next level so he can finally start competing in the big leagues. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.